Yeah, forget about that. <laughs> forget about it. You know what Mei Ling said? Don't go out of your way to pick up stuff. Those 25 famous bullets probably weren't worth it. Oh, I should maybe stun people. C4 people? Grenade people? We have way too many of these things. Raven! Raven's alive. You keep your ravens underground? Or should I be shooting them or something? Help me, Colonel! I'm so scared! There's birds! There's birds in the base! Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't Probably worry. not. The monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Mm. Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Is this master somebody I can trust indiscriminately? I don't know. Apparently he was from the previous Metal Gear games. Mm. Maybe best not to trust any single person here too much. By the way, it's been a while since I saved. I'm just gonna save here quickly. <laughs> Mei Ling, how's Naomi? Oh. Huh? She's fine, I guess. What's up? Oh. Uh, what do you want, Snake? If you want to talk to Naomi, why don't you call her? Oh, it's nothing. Forget about it. Strange guy. I want to say she's not a spy, because usually, well, usually that's how stories work, right? They tell you to suspect that person, and it's probably not the first person you suspect. Actually, it's this person you never suspected the whole time. Mm, she did seem like she had a bit of a hate boner for me before. Good luck, Snake. But I don't... I didn't really get the impression it was because she was a spy. In fact, if she was a spy, she would probably not do anything to get my attention. She would try to be as regular and as helpful and as nice as possible. Colonel, where's Naomi? I'm right here, Snake. What is it? Oh, uh... Nothing. Forget it. Strange. Snake, by now those terrorists have finished their <laughs> launch preparations. Stop wasting time. Yeah, I said hate boner just now, but you know, that's a that's a bit strong, I think. She just seemed like, oh, she on about the jeans and about how, oh, I can't believe you actually care about people. That's all. You found some grenades. Just pull the pin and it explodes after five seconds. You can get a lot done during those five seconds, Snake. How you use them is up to you. Yeah, that's what my girlfriends tell me too. If you take that elevator down, you'll wind up in the warehouse. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base is just past there. Crows. What? There are a lot of crows here. They're ravens. There were crows around from before. But for some reason, they started to really increase in number around the same time that Foxhound came to the base. It's really weird. I wonder what it could mean. Wow, I wonder. I wonder, could it be foreshadowing for a certain bird person that we've seen before? 
I bet if Raven heard that, he would get mad. Because crows and ravens are different. Don't ask me how, I just know they are. One's bigger, one's smaller, one's smarter. I don't know. It's really cold here now. No more mines. Would be nice. Okay, they want me... They're saying, hey, remember, you can use these missiles and stuff. I have a whole freaking armory on me, but I barely use anything. I should probably use some of it. More? Got some nice stinger bullets earlier in one of those hidden rooms, so... Yeah, those would be nice. Stun grenade would probably always be good. Oh, uh, can I- can I take it? Okay. Just to be sure. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. That's Ravens a big aren't gun. scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank. Oh, we never Must saw him. Tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? What? Oh god. I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah. Your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. In you Is he reading my history? Cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. You jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Yeah, I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muktuk eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, <laughs> but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. You got a big gun there. Let's try calling. I know, very anticlimactic, but I want to see if we can get more. Vulcan Raven is half Native Alaskan American and half Inuit. He was raised as a shaman, and they say he has supernatural powers. During the Cold War, he trained in Russia with the Bimbov, the Soviet Special Forces. In 1993, he was demoted by President Yeltsin following his coup d'etat. So he fled the country and became a mercenary. After that, he joined those rent-a-war bastards at Outer Heaven, Inc. Oh. He stayed there until he joined us in Foxhound, thanks to a strong recommendation from Revolver Ocelot. That cannon he's holding is a 20 millimeter Vulcan gun. You usually see them mounted on fighter planes. You can't take him on in a firefight. He'll make men's meat of you. He's not just strong, Snake. He's a graduate emeritus from Alaska University, so he's a quick thinker, too. In any case, you'd better not try to attack him from the front. Normal weapons are no match for his 20 millimeter Vulcan. Try to attack him from the side or behind. Maybe the Stinger missiles would help the auto-aiming thing, or the Nikita missiles. But that one, the navigation takes a little bit of effort. Huh, <laughs> they're like, he, he graduated from Alaska University. I'm like, is that well known for being good? I've never heard of it. <laughs> that place is right in the middle of the permafrost. <gasps> the Just rations! Like the it never melts. Oh I've no! Over 
90% of Alaska is permafrost. It's extremely cold there, Snake. If you don't hurry, your sea rations will freeze. One way to prevent your sea rations from freezing is to hold them close to your body by equipping them. But then I can't have body armor on. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, that's what they were trying to teach me beforehand. Nice. I like that. It looks like Raven is holding an M61A1 20mm multi-turreted machine gun. They are usually mounted on F-16s. With its six rotating turrets, it can fire 4,020 millimeter rounds per minute. And it is accurate too. If you come at him from the front, he'll turn you into burst. Pretty sure the the radar was jammed, so that's not gonna be good. I can't tell which side is the front for him. That room is still under construction because their main priority was to finish Metal Gear's underground base. But the good thing is, with all those containers, it should be easy to hide, right? <laughs> it should be. It should be. Okay, I'm going to equip my rations until I see him. I know this is really stupid because I'll get hit first before I see him probably. But that's my plan for not letting it freeze up. And then... Do you think a... C4 claymores might be good? Can we try to get a feel for... Oh, he's... Oh, no, no, the jammer works. I mean, the, the radar works. So in that case... Oh! Oh, I can't get up! I can't get up, buddy. Well, another way that I wouldn't have to worry about my rations is if I use them all up because I get hurt so much. <laughs> I probably should have hid behind a container before I fired it. Got him a little bit. Nice! Okay, but he's gonna... Yeah, I might want to hide here now. Oh, oops. That's okay, we'll figure it out. This might be the best plan I have. Oh, too bad I can't see very well. Nice, nice. I lost track. Whoa, he's like right there. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That was really dumb. But I think we have an... If we play this right, we can... Woo! I wish I... The radar followed the... Ah, so it doesn't work all the time, because he's good enough to, like, hit the... What's that sound? You hear it? Is he breaking stuff? I think he is. But if we come at him from the front, he can see me. Oh, he's break. Ah, C4. Okay, that's, that's one way to do it, I think. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I- Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he's that good! He's actually breaking up the paths, too, which is not ideal. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get up, get up, buddy! You gotta get up! If you don't get up, how are we getting out of here? C4? He's gotta walk over here, man. Okay, I don't have to worry about my rations anymore, because I don't have any more. <laughs> I might not have time to activate... Okay, let me just try with this plan more. This way? Well, that's coming, coming at him from the front. Oh boy. Oh boy, the C4. 
Oh, he's a very hard hitter. I probably should stay really, really far away from him. Where is he? Oh, he turned a different corner, I think. Stinger missiles would be good too, but makes me scared. Okay. You'll probably see the missile. Oh, I... Oh, no. Oh, dear. I'm trying my best to hang in there, but this isn't looking good. This is gonna be about patience again. We... And we can't bring the missile... Okay, you know what? I don't know if this will be a good idea, but... Yeah, it's happening. Oh, I'm hanging in here, but... C4 might be easier. Stinger... I'm scared, though, because I'll have to see him head on first before... Claymore. Of course. All right, all right, all right. I used a few Claymores, but I'm really scared. I'm scared of running into them myself. It's just a slow battle. Oh. Okay, maybe if you keep following... Oh, no. Oh, no. Got a lot of rations left this time, though. But whenever he hits me, I don't even have time to get back up. That's the... Yeah, look at that! I'm just getting... Getting stun locked. Oh, he's not coming. I haven't used any stinger missiles yet. It could be a good bet here, because it's faster. Oh, shoot. Where is he coming from? Oh, God. Okay, maybe I'll just use a... I have a feeling it's a bad idea. No, 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 no! Oh no, oh no! See, that did nothing. Okay, he's stepping on my claymores. He's stepping on my claymores. No, 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 no. Wrong way. Wrong way. Not this again. Not this again. Oh my goodness. Is this really happening? Am I really dying to my own claymores once more? No. What's the easiest way for me to do this? I'm trying to think here. Oh! What? Th did he hit a claymore, I think? I'm not sure. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens 
In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? From the grave? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? That was not the Dharma Chief. Oh. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. Ooh. Whoa, he's like, he has but a skin he mask. Wasn't able to deceive the angel of death. The angel of death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching. What is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. I don't yeah. know about that. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She Wait. needs to be arrested and interrogated Wait. to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Oh, God. Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Why don't anyway, I believe you? We cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. 
hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. People are still unwilling to tell us the full truth after all that. Hold on, let's save. Let's save first. Or maybe talk to everyone first. Snake, if it's about Naomi, I'm looking into the matter right now. Give me a little more time. Where is she? She's still sleeping. I can't believe it. First, the DARPA chief turns out to be an imposter, and now Naomi. What the hell is going on here? I suppose you're going to tell me you don't know anything, right? I'm sorry, Snake. A uh, madman is threatening the world with a nuclear weapon. I guess that's what I should worry about now. Let's walk around and collect the stuff around while... while thinking about this a little bit. Um... What's interesting is that there's definitely multiple parties working in this whole thing right now. But I'm assuming... Like when the DARPA chief was the fake one, was talking to me. Whoever killed him, killed him because they thought that that was the actual DARPA chief as well. They didn't know that that was Decoy Octopus. Oh, I guess we're never gonna meet him then. He's just dead already. And whoever did it was just able to somehow kill a Foxhound member remotely like that. That seems like it's a pretty strong person too. Strong in what way? Psychically? They already have a Psycho Mantis there. Oh, I thought there were more items than this. No? Well, okay. Yeah, and then... Why were they trying to... Why were they trying to trick me to begin with? The whole point of making a fake DARPA chief was to talk to me, right? Because they expected that I would try to come rescue him. Did he ask me anything in that conversation? Uh, off the top of my head, nothing really strikes out as being odd. Maybe I have to go back and check out what they said again. Hmm. Snake, I'm sure that woman calling herself Naomi is some type of spy. And now I'm starting to think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. Starting to think? Yeah, I don't think he should have been in on that conversation. She could be a spy, but I don't think that necessarily means she's not on our side. I just feel like... I mean, they were bringing up ideas of how, oh, she's from Foxhound, right? That means, that means she might be with the terrorists. If I were the terrorists, would I plant a spy from Foxhound into my enemy? Isn't that too obvious? And it sounds like she had this identity when she was part of Foxhound, or she still is, right? So it's not like something that just happened within the past week or so. It was for quite a while already. So even if she's a spy, it sounds like she's just sort of quietly been in the back, observing, but not doing anything harmful. I don't know anything about Dr. Naomi, so there's not much I can say. But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't you think you'd better just get to the control room? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Naomi wasn't acting strangely or anything? No, I just can't believe that Naomi's an enemy spy. I refuse to accept that. I don't want to believe it either, but... Don't say it, Snake. I don't know if we should really be... immediately doing something about this information, though. Do you want the spy to know that you know she's a spy? And we're trying to do all this while doing this mission at the same time, too. It's kind of stressful. How many hours do we have now? Probably not that many, given how many freaking hours I spent on the Kodak. <laughs> okay, I I could have ended this fight with a little bit more rations, I think, but yeah, once things go south, it just goes south so quickly. I feel like a lot of the health I lost for my or by myself too, because I, I blew myself up like ten times. <laughs> but that wasn't great. Okay, we have a level seven door. I that makes me feel like we should probably go back outside too. Is there a shortcut though, or do I have to? Let me just see what's what's in the next room over. Okay, I get the feeling we're not gonna. Hmm. Oh sh! Not this again. Oh my! All right. Okay. I'm going to go back. 
Remember that one level 7 door room? Oh, I wish I didn't. Where we fought Sniper Wolf for the second time. I'm really hoping there's some nice rations in there. Better damn well be, because it's kind of a far away with a lot of turrets in between. Ooh! Oh, damn, the place is on lockdown. Shoot. Seriously? Anybody here, though? Oh, yeah, they- yeah. Yeah, someone's here. <laughs> Thomas? Do you want to drop stuff? No? I don't know if we can keep hiding or if people keep coming indefinitely. Oh, we probably should go elsewhere. I think, um... Right, there's an elevator here. And another one to advance, but this is how we go backwards, I guess. By the way, I lost some health from that one room with the, um, the mines and the jammers, so that's great. I am very, very low on health. I don't like it. Should I just go? I swear this better be worth it. Did I leave rations? Oh, but I think there were rations around there somewhere, too. We need a bed. Shaft grenade. Does a shaft grenade stop the mines in the ground? I don't think so. Thank you. Oh, I'll have that. Oh, never mind, just kidding. I swear. I swear. Yay! Wh what? This is like nothing! Give me a ration, please! Seriously? Oh, those are mines there too, right? Hold up. Were they mines? Oh god. Oh, it's just the overlapping of the three cameras, I think. I thought there were two more... Mines in the middle of the room. What? Someone here? Well, the stinger, the stinger missile is pretty good. Uh, the stingers are good, so I guess that's good. <laughs> that was a whole lot of nothing. Okay, I'm gonna need you to. Hey! Your owner's... gone. How you feeling? Not too great, I imagine. I'm gonna go low here. Oh, jeez. Right, even the- I'm pretty sure we got those mines before, but they respawned. Well, I did come back and get more stuff, but... I- I was really hoping to get more rations. I guess that's that for now. Wait, is that an enemy? No, I guess. Hmm, that's sad. There's these little details when you backtrack to places. Places have changed. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna look through these rooms again to see if there's anything I can pick up, but if not, I'm gonna... go back down. Oh, thank god. This one had a lot of rations. Ooh! Hey, I managed to come back with a full thing of rations. So I'd say that was worth it. Yeah, bit of a trek, but hey, we're here now. Now what? Traps right in front of me. Mm-hmm. Lots of cameras. Maybe you want to get the chaff grenades ready ASAP. When do they activate? The cameras, I mean. I can't even get that. Uh, what are all those little red dots? Oh, those are all cameras. I guess we should throw a chaff grenade right now, then. Although I won't be able to see the way. 
We might have to do this continuously. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's what I mean by continuously. Oh, dude, those Stinger missiles. I could have just gone here. I didn't have to go back to the other room. Seriously? I thought it was gonna be, like, this is the grand prize. The best room. But no, it was just Stinger missiles. I could have gotten right here. Ooh. Of course, let's interrupt the tension. Snake, stop that launch. Head for the control room in the underground base. The control room is on the third floor of the underground base, isn't it? There's no time. How do you know that? Do you have the blueprint to this place? I guess you must. Snake, isn't the detonation code input system in the control room? Hurry up and get in there. <laughs> Okay, guys. That's a chaff grenade. Oh my goodness, okay. Thank you, thank you. But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't you think you'd better just get to the control room? Okay, all right. I think I'm here. So what I'm... What I understand about the Metal Gear Solid series so far is that Snake keeps destroying Metal Gear, but it keeps coming back. And now I get to see one in person. For the first time. Well, me for the first time, but Snake for the third time. Is it kind of like a Gundam? It just gets piloted by somebody inside? There's a camera there. Do we want to go down? Is there a reason for us to go down? I could go down, I'm just wondering why I'd want to do that. Can I see? Like, why do I want to go in the water there? Maybe let's find out? Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm dying. Oh, it must be ir irradiated water. Right? Well, I have a ration right here, so let's try going. I just want to see what's at the end of this. Oh, this is a way for us to travel around the map. It doesn't actually hurt that much. Hurts a little bit. Maybe about as much as cigarettes. Okay. Oh, I don't like it. That means this is gonna be a boss map. Right? Because <laughs> they're providing ways for us to travel around. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Who's you? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. They don't what have- What should I do? They have it? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? <laughs> yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Okie dokie then. Wait, I, I can't get up here, can I? I might be able... I can. Jammed, of course. This thing is gigantic. We should just blow it up with a grenade right now. C4, stinger missiles. Works for a helicopter. 
Why not the Metal Gear? Snake, it's me again. Who's you? How's it this going? is a phone. Uh, not I can't bad. see you. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. We only have one of the three keys. We're just going here, but we don't know what we're doing. Hoping it'll work out if I'm in the right place. Uh... Is this a... crawlable thing? No? Hmm... It really is quiet here. Except for me, stomping on the grates. Oh. Suddenly not so quiet anymore. Maybe this is a... cardboard box situation. Oh, am I... Hold up. I can't see the dude. Makes me so insecure. I guess you're meant to be using the scope more often to... you know, scope out the place. But I'm pretty lazy. Oh yeah, they want me to use the stingers. Definitely. Wait, how am I getting anywhere here? Is this a... Was there another place for me to go to? I didn't see... Okay, let's get out of this box. Oh, they're in the room. They probably can't even see me. How do I get over there? See, there's no radar, so I can't see the little gaps in the place. Where... Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, that was simpler than expected. Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. Mm? You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. Ooh. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? He always is. I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? Of course. I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? 
It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? It's gone. No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. All right. Yeah, there's people waiting to fire this thing already. We gotta be careful. Oops. But I... Now that we know that the DARPA chief is a fake one... Oh, but they don't know that... Because the one scene where we we saw the, the real DARPA chief being tortured... They didn't see that. Only the players saw that. Which is why sometimes it's like, oh, how come it's really obvious to us that the DARPA chief is gone and dead, but it's not the snake. Oh, I don't like that great. I'm stuck. That guy's around the corner. I don't want to move. Or maybe I should move before he comes. Why is he not coming back? Oh, he is now. He's gonna come here and be like, Oh my god, a box? Mr. Box. Get out of the way. What? Wait, what? How did he know? It worked on the other guy before. How come this guy's smart? No! Ruining my day! I heard you. you heard nothing! More people spawn! Yeah, when you get detected, more people spawn. We gotta be. Oh, I'm not aiming at him right, dude. You can't use up my rations like this. I'm saving it for the next boss fight. All right, we gotta go. Snake, did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Okay. How about the rest of you? Snake, stop that launch. Head for the control room in the underground base. Yeah, okay, we, we should just go. We're still on high alert right now. I don't want to walk because the grate makes noise. Okay. Oh, now I'm scared about the cardboard boxes. It probably won't work every time then. This goes in there? Where do we want to go? I don't think... Yeah, this doesn't bring us anywhere. Okay. For now. Ocelot. OK, 
Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No, there's been a change. The liquid the is alive. Is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Ooh, Meanwhile, like a warning. will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. One billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the fox cure? dye that's seen in our demands. Fox dye. It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. <gasps> So it's true oh. that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a cool. thousand soldiers under his command. The Russians! If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians mm. would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Ooh. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms oh. president are both dead. The snake well, he sees the us. Right system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that Didn't woman? he see us? Just Are now? To kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. And they won't kill her. She's alive.
What's this about a cure? I found Baker's top secret files. Fox die? Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the president was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the Ooh. input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. Yellow, blue, red. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. Cold, blue. The one blue. on the right is the high temperature key. Red, hot. Okay, I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. He sees us. Oh no! The key fell in the drainage ditch. Oh my goodness! Are you serious? This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. We gotta get back the key first. Snake, you've got to get that key. No, don't do that, please. I'm a little busy right now, please. Do I have to go back all the way? Probably. Well, not that many people are attacking me, though. Oh, I should... I need to freaking use a ration already. Oh, you hear the footsteps. Do they know how to climb over? Or are they stuck there? Well, it doesn't seem like there's anybody here for now. That's good. It's in the drainage. What, so like in the... The water, the radiated section. Well, how the hell did I get up here again? Wait. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's right. The, the it was right next to the ladder. The two ladders were right next to each other. I forgot. Anybody want to give me some hot advice on how to find the key? Codes. The only way to stop the launch now is to use the card key to re-input the codes. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. You lost the key? Hurry up and find it. They've already entered the detonation code. The only way to stop that launch is to lock the system by re-inputting the detonation codes. I also need to change the temperature on it and all that. between conventional weapons and weapons of male destruction. 
Conventional weapons are intended for use against military targets, but nuclear weapons are used against non-combatants. Nukes mm. are designed to kill tens of thousands of innocent civilians in a flash. That's true. That is why nuclear weapons are so evil. Oh my gosh, no matter how tense the situation is, the stash is always ready to throw some nuclear facts at me. Love her. The terrorists are finished inputting the detonation codes. The only way to stop the launch now is to re-input the detonation codes to lock the detonation mechanism. You need that key to do it. Find that key, Snake. There's no other way. I am working on it. What is it, Snake? Uh, I'd like to save in case if we catastrophically do not find the key and the world gets destroyed. Just in case. Snake, Leo DeRocher said, win any way you can. Nice guys finish last. What about you, Snake? Is that what you think? Is there anything that you wouldn't do to stay alive? No. You should think about that, Snake. Oh, how ominous. Anything I wouldn't do to stay alive. Hurt people I love, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not the time to get philosophical. Drainage ditch. Oh, there's a drainage ditch? You mean right below the camera? Because I there was a vent in that area. Why is no one chasing me, man? Like, I wouldn't... Sh shouldn't they be chasing me? I'm just thinking, because... They know I'm here. Oh! Sweet, but... Not... Okay, it's not here, unfortunately. No, they're just giving me the ration because they have to. Because otherwise I'll die and stuff. Ration! Oh, come on. Uh... Chef grenade. You think it'll be here, though? I don't know. Bomb. Excuse me? Bomb? Not this again. Not this again! Oh, oh, no, no, no. Bad spot. Bad spot. Ah! Wait, was there rations there as well? Hey, get up! Snake! Oh, I can swim! I can swim in here, are you kidding me? And they're just giving me the rations because I could die in here. Where are the freaking... I'm finding like a million items here, but not the right thing. Palky! Oh, damn it, it was right there. I didn't have to go all the way there. Alright, sweet. Now what? Now I gotta go back up? Uh, I'm okay. I don't need the rations just yet. Okay. You got the card key. Good. Now get back to the control room and use that key to re-input the PAL codes. Stop that launch. But they're not gonna let me in the room. Or they shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, chaff grenade won't help me here. I gotta switch back to something. Regular famous. The guy who couldn't climb the ladder is probably still waiting for me. Oh, yeah, fool me, fool me thrice. He might have gone back to patrolling. I'm not really in a sneaking kind of situation right now, though. We are on a deadline. Yeah, he's right there. Dude, seriously? Maybe I can use a silent pistol at least. The SOCOM? He's gonna see me soon. That's okay. Where is he? Doesn't matter. Where did he go? He went 
The other side? Why they left it open? Why they leave it open? Wait, there are cameras in here. Uh, but won't the computer stop working if I do that? No. Jeez. No, 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 pal key, pal key. Emergency input or override device. It is currently... Room temperature? You're not telling me I have to go back, right? Oh, so that happens every time. Oh, we can't get detected. If we do, then they don't let us in. You don't mean go back to where Raven died, do you? Are they actually that crazy? Because that's a lot of backtracking in the middle of a tense-ish situation too. Seriously? I'm gonna go this way. I just wanna see. Is there really no faster way out of here? I mean, I know there's no faster way out of here. We've been here already. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't go back up. Yeah, it's open again, but not what I need. How are you not dead? What the hell? How is that person not dead? Too far? Okay. I'm hoping for the... Okay, you know what? For the freezing one, we gotta go and... Go back to the freezer. Fine. It's... Relatively close by-ish. We have to go past that room with a million cameras, that's all. But I'm hoping that for the high heat one... Well, you wanted me to go back to the blast furnace or what? Can I just like take off my clothes and rub it over my tummy? Not good enough? Oh, what was on the front end? Did we go here before? Nah, nothing. I mean, I, I would normally cut out backtracking and stuff, but I feel like you need to join me in the journey for going back because we are technically in the middle of a, a tense boss battle right now. <laughs> or something like that, right? No, 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 no. We, we really must get going. And we gotta be careful about the traps, okay? I remember there were traps in that beginning room. Okay, we need chaff grenades. Oh, I threw it in the water. Good enough. I'm just thinking if I should take the ration right now. I'll take it when I come back, maybe. Which is gonna be in like three seconds anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit further than this, actually. Whoa, don't scare me. So you... I need to hold out the pal key? How do I know it's changed? Well, there's a picture on it, that's how we know. I'll just walk around here, but I want to go back here because I'm pretty sure there's a ration here. If we can take this one... Oh, it didn't respawn. That's okay. I mean, it is what it is, right? I need to hold the pal key. Let's go back in then. Yeah, I think this stuff respawns after you do some story events. But only one item respawned there because I didn't take both of them at the same time. Before fighting the boss, I only took the ration. So the respawn timings are a little bit different.
I'm really hoping this is how you're supposed to do it. I can't tell because I, I... Am I just supposed to run around a little bit? Thinking it's like the rations. Oh, no notification! It just changes. Okay, but then... I wonder if that means I have to worry about it unfreezing. I, I really hope not. God, and then we gotta go back to the blast furnace later? Are you serious? That's insane, man. I'm gonna make an executive decision here to... First of all, chef grenades. I'm gonna take the ration, because I'm hoping for the other ones to respawn later. That didn't even give me full health! Oh. They didn't even care about me. Whoa. You're really gonna make me go all the way, aren't you? And then something, of course, as we approach the last one. No, as it turns out, we don't make it in time. It's too late. And then they activate Metal Gear. Something like that. I hope not, but judging by what we've seen from Metal Gear 1 and 2, the summaries, it seems like fighting Metal Gear is a thing. Oh, right here, right here. <laughs> Snake climbs with a chaff grenade in his hand. And then let me guess, the guard is back again. I kind of know how you work by now. These guys respawn... ...and all that. <sighs> there you go. And we gotta make sure to not be too noisy, too, cuz... Oh, that guy just left. Okay, so it's okay. It's actually not that bad, because... ...we can just go right here. If we're fast enough. Okay, chaff grenade. Pal, pal, pal. Still blue, still blue. They need to keep a mini fridge in this room and a heater. Pal code number two, confirm. Awaiting pal code number three. Why are they just leaving the computers here okay. for me to fiddle with? There goes pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. In the blast furnace? Never really got a good look at the room. Uh, those cameras... Actually, they don't even have sentries, do they? Can I just go? Oh, that might be a thing. Okay, I'll cut you some slack. I'll see you at the blast furnace. Oh, there's people here now. That's okay. I don't even know what kind of people they are. Oh. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. I don't believe that. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? Yeah, we didn't get to talk no. about that. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. That's why they were dying. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, oh. try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? Uh-oh. Nanomachines. 
She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? He's I just listening. Put Naomi under arrest. Arrest? He's she listening. She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Oh, is she really... Is she really against us? I didn't even have a choice in the matter, too. Getting injected with those nanomachines and whatnot. Oh, they put me in the middle of the room. The turret's gonna see me. It's a miracle it didn't. I know that turret by now. There's mines here. I hate this place. Just get me out of here. Oh, it's so far to go back to the furnace. So now we know what killed people then. It's that fox die thing. Is it like a side effect of being genetically enhanced then? Because it sounds like Liquid and Ocelot were actually doing all this because they wanted a cure for it. Because they want to save the genome soldiers. Which is everybody here? Everybody on the base? Okay, I'm gonna be real. I don't know what they were thinking, making us backtrack this far. I'm guessing this is more of like a PS1 limitation. Hey, if we backtrack, then save some space. Don't need to make a new room, all that. I like the mechanic. I think it's pretty cool, freezing and unfreezing stuff, heating up stuff, but the actual execution of us having to walk a million rooms back is not exactly fun. We'll, we'll just sit in a cardboard box or something, I don't know. We'll go here. There's steam here. Hoping the steam will help the card with heating up. Alright, let's go. Snake, don't give up. Remember Macbeth, Act 5, Scene 3. I'll fight till from my bones my flesh be hacked. Give me my armor. Everyone is counting on you, Snake. You've got to do it. Hey, that wasn't a Chinese proverb. Oh, what? Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. No. Oh. What? He Three was thoughts. a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. 
the man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. Oh, she does have a hate no. boner for me then. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America. Her real no. brother. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. Oh! He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages, they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, <laughs> a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? How Naomi, much? I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? Colonel. You weren't. The Colonel! No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. <sighs> I just wanted to let you know that. No loose ends, huh? No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> oh. <gasps> Snake! Oh no! <gasps> Ooh. Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Wow, if I was any more spiteful, and if I didn't care about the world, I would just let you burn. I, you know, I, I would consider that. Huh. I'm a little bit surprised Naomi actually is the spy and 
I guess, the bad person here. Because I feel like... Yeah, if it's a more modern story in 2024... Maybe people would be like, Ah, oh, that's so cliche, blah blah blah. But cliches come from somewhere, right? So yeah. Uh... A little bit of rations? Sure. I better be careful not to take the Palki out in case of it freezes again. <laughs> Is it still warm? It better be. Yeah, okay, good. There's probably still people inside. 